breakfast at the top of the hotel. Everything in the menu is super cheap. Not as cheap as last night where everything was a dollar, but um, you can get like French toast for two dollars. You can get a sandwich with chicken and cheese for three dollars. Uh, shakes are one dollar. So we just checked out of our hotel and we're now heading to Phnom Penh. So we have Tuk Tuk that picked us up and they'll be driving us to a bus. Uh, so we'll be on the bus for about seven hours. So today's gonna be mainly a travel day. So by the time we arrive, it's gonna be close to like seven or eight p.m. in Phnom Penh. But tomorrow I hope to do the killing fields, learn a bit about the Cambodian yeah. history, and we'll yeah. We'll get a guide this time, so you can actually Yeah, this time we're definitely getting on. a guide. Yeah. Yeah, Angkor Wat, I guess, would have been amazing to have a guide, but yeah. Phnom Penh you cannot do without a guide, because what's the point of seeing a field without knowing what actually happened there? We're at the first stop. You drank all the time. No, I didn't. We got Pringles, some pop, some crackers. Everything's one dollar. If you're not sure how much something is in Cambodia, you're a good to guess one dollar. Because almost everything's one US dollar. The other people behind the desk who are selling all this stuff are like five years old. They're like cutting up mangoes and pineapples and giving us change. It was kind of weird paying them. It felt kind of wrong, but... Okay. So we're about two hours away from Phnom Penh. Um, I just ordered fried rice and chicken, which I'm really excited about. The ride here has been really gloomy. Like. There's not been many rainy days since I've been in Southeast Asia, but today is just very overcast. There was certain areas where it was actually raining pretty hard. Uh, our bus got stopped by like a, a bunch of cattle. They got in the middle of the road and blocked us off. Um, but yeah, from what I can see, the main road is kind of taking us through Cambodia a little bit. And uh, it's very, very primitive, very basic. All the roads are dirt. Um, and even like most people's homes are just set up on dirt. It's very, very, very uh, basic. And this is fried rice and chicken. I have not had this in a while, so I'm super excited. They don't have it in the Philippines. I missed it from Thailand. This was like a daily meal for me. Just got dropped off. Being hustled by tuk tuk drivers, the typical. As soon as you get dropped off at any destination, everyone tries to take advantage of you because you don't know where you are usually. And you're usually a tourist willing to pay a bit more. We're trying to get our tuk tuk fare down from a dollar to 50 cents. Negotiations are going well. We just checked into a hostel. We have beds for three US dollars a night. And we've joined a group that we met on the bus, which is often how it goes actually. It's really cool. We were able to get the tuk tuk down to 50 cents. So Cambodia in Phnom Penh is off to a cheap start. Right now we're heading out and we're gonna go get some beers. And then we'll see where the night goes from there. Oh, and there's a dog. Hello. Hi, Scruffy. This restaurant has little papers everywhere. Napkins are just thrown to the side. And they're not cleaning it. There's just like full dustbin of it. Bite down. Careful not to get any paper stuck to your feet. 75 cents for a beer and a dollar fifty for the meal. Cheap. Cheap cheap. Cheap cheap. We went to a couple bars tonight got a few drinks, and now we're gonna head back. So we're going back pretty early tonight, but tomorrow morning we wanna get a good look around Phnom Penh. And we actually have to get our Vietnamese, camp, uh, our Vietnamese visa going, because the Vietnamese visa, unlike most Southeast Asian countries, you actually have to prepare and like have it processed before showing up to the country. Because most countries like Cambodia, Thailand, Philippines, whatever, you can just show up to the country and then get it taken care of at the actual border or the airport. But uh, Vietnam, you have to be prepared. So we'll get it processed while we're here in Phnom Penh. I think Phnom Penh, from what I've read online, is the world or is the cheapest place to get it done. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can get that done and processed in the next couple days. But other than that, we'll just be hanging out around Cambodia. Yeah.